Hey guys, welcome back. This is Katie and this is our Missouri Life. Today we are going to do a real life quick clean with me. So most of the times you guys see me make my bed and everybody's out of the room and everything's great and hunky-dory. Well, no. Half the time, I would say 90% of the time, I'm making the bed around an animal and just trying to get something picked up so that I can move on to the next room and get things cleaned up. Same thing with my laundry. It is usually never in a laundry basket. It is usually in a pile somewhere around the house, on the couch in the bedroom, or another bed somewhere in the house, or on the kitchen table most of the time. Um, that laundry pile had been sitting there for at least a week, and I finally decided today that it was time to hang it up because I'm getting ready to do laundry for this week. So it was time to clean up the laundry from last week. ladies <laughs> toy bin so yeah she pulls them all out and digs through them so I think I'm going to actually go through them all and probably throw most of these like rags away she doesn't like eat it she just rips everything apart and then she just kind of has a piece of the toy left so I think it's time for me to go through these so that's what I'm gonna do now um and then I'm going to vacuum today I just really wanted to focus on getting all the places that the animals are and cleaning all of their beds off and washing any of the blankets that they use throughout the house I did wash today so just getting those extra spaces that I don't always deep clean was kind of nice to get to today getting to all those places this week that the animals have been sitting with me in the office and lady brings in a toy every morning and tears it up but I've been trying to not pick up any of the messes during the week while I'm working and just leave it for me on the weekend to pick up so it was so nice to get all the carpet vacuumed and to get cleaned up finally from our vacation I literally just dumped everything in that bedroom and now I'm putting away all the little pieces and bags that I took with us finally put all those things away and the suitcases downstairs
there's something that happens in our house is the dog will rub all over everything at the bottom. So <laughs> she will vacuum our, our comforter in our bedroom in between washings just because it's easier than washing it every time. What I do, I'll use the Dyson to vacuum it usually. And then I will just go through and just use one of these lint rollers. I get mine at Dollar General usually. And the two pack is pretty cheap. So I don't feel bad just like rolling through so many of them just to like get the hair off the bed. But especially having a lighter colored comforter with dark colored animals, <laughs> not always conducive to keeping the plane home. Take my love for granted We keep on talking from body to body, yeah But all good, all wiped off, all de-hairified, like <laughs> See all that? Yeah, so that's my <laughs> wad of dog hair ones But I'll clean for right now What are you doing? Hi, did you find a new basket to sleep in? That's so exciting. That's okay. Getting closer to just being nothing else. Uh -huh. I'm a sucker for your love. Even though it's kind of toxic, babe. You know I feel it when we touch. That's your love is from a different place. really bad right now it's never this bad because I usually vacuum like through the week and stuff but because I was gone all weekend <clears throat> I was actually gone for like four or five days um that's just that from not cleaning up so yeah I've been really stressed out about it this week but I've left it alone until now um just so I could vacuum everything at one time even though I do vacuum the kitchen throughout the week I will pick up because the cat's their cat box is in the laundry room, so they'll like drag little bits out to here. So <laughs> I'm constantly vacuuming. right now so I'm trying to figure out what to do with it did a lot of research on YouTube about this and she's looking a little sad she lost a, a leaf up there or a flower bud whatever so these are supposed to be really easy to take care of and I, I don't know I'm gonna check it to see I think I just need to put some of that in here but I know it's got a drain. I can't have water just sit in it. Cause you're supposed to like slit these. So maybe if I slit it. Cause 
because it's got to be able to breathe from what I was reading. Because if you look up online, so all I'm doing is cutting little slits in it so it can kind of breathe and drain. It's not overly wet because these things you don't have to like water all the time. And I only watered it a couple times actually, and it's still pretty wet. So I'm kind of confused at like why it's looking sad. It's in the same spot it has been and I haven't moved it. Nothing's like changed, I haven't opened a window. Cause apparently they're kind of like moody about that stuff. But I got these spikes for it. So I'm gonna put one in it and see if that helps it. If not, I'm probably going to repot it and then put it in some of this coarse blend, this orchid potty mix. Ah. So a little information about me. I don't do plants. Not really my thing. I'm not really good at them. Okay, feed orchids only when plants are active growth. Okay, cool. So you're supposed to put one spike on one side. And one spike on the other side. Now, orchids what I found do not um they don't grow in soil. So you're not supposed to put them in like potting soil. That's a no-no. It said they don't like cold water. So, it's gonna get a little bit of water. So it said just to use like a damp cloth to wipe its green leaves off. Um, here and there. And I know Like it seems to be fine. And they said to not get it, I don't know, something about not getting it wet in certain areas on it. I need to revisit the YouTube video I watched. <laughs> Justin's a plant person, not me. <laughs> no, poor little guy, sorry, I'm a bad plant mom. They actually said to do this. This isn't just because I'm a clean freak that they said to do this online. <laughs> they said to make sure to wipe them off and I think it said don't let the water pool like anywhere in the leaves or it'll kill it. I don't know. Okay. See, like something's up with it. I can tell because of these two leaves are like cracky. This one especially. So I'm just going to have to watch it and see. It, they don't like to be the super sunlight or anything like that, but they like to be right where they like to be. So I thought I had a good thing going. Dang. Okay, well we're gonna put her back where I had her and see if it's just that. Or if maybe I changed something up and it didn't like it. I don't know, so we'll see. So I'm gonna put her back over here. Put her in a little spot, maybe turn her a little bit. I'll do some more research on that thing because I feel like I need to trim it, but I don't know. If you guys know how to take care of an orchid, leave it in the comments below. I just, I don't want it. I love it. And I, we're doing good until like this week.
guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Face to face in this trashy